Unfortunately, there have been a rash of recent camera thefts here in San Francisco in places like where I am right now, Chrissy Field, and I want to point out some of the worst places to go to with expensive camera gear and maybe offer a few safety tips. Right now at 6, shocking dash cam video shows a daring smash and grab robbery on the road. A Bay Area hobby photographer is sharing his terrifying story after he was followed all the way from San Francisco to Fremont and robbed at gunpoint. These dramatic smash and grabs happened when thieves saw the photographers flaunting their expensive camera gear on location. Now, here's where you may want to reconsider bringing your big cameras. Chrissy Field at the foot of the Golden Gate Bridge, it's where I got robbed. The Marin Headlands, which is on the other side of the bridge in Marin County, home to the best view of the Golden Gate, hands down. Treasure Island, directly in between Berkeley and San Francisco, with a killer view of the city skyline. And Twin Peaks, overlooking the city. This evening we begin with a different kind of crime story. This is the video that got our attention. A car break-in near the popular San Francisco tourist spot, Twin Peaks. We decided to check out complaints from neighbors. We didn't know that one of our own reporters would become part of this story. The car came up here while we are about to do an interview. Three guys jumped out, one had a gun, put it up to my face and said, we're taking the camera. Outside of those explosive news stories, most of the crime most notably in Fisherman's Wharf and the Marin Headlands, have targeted parked cars. That's why you now see these signs everywhere. Pay attention to them and make sure to have nothing in your car. Thieves are banking on you being stupid. They know how many people come here and they know that they, like fools, leave expensive stuff in their cars and they do smash and grabs. One photographer here got out, took a shot, and then came back to find all of his cameras and computer gear stolen. So obvious thing, don't leave anything in the car when you come up here. Uh, you can get a good shot on your smartphone from up here, that's okay. If you want to bring expensive camera stuff, just know you're taking a big risk. Would my Sony be sharper? Yes. Would it be better? Yes. Uh, do I feel more comfortable knowing that my expensive gear is at home ready for work and not here? Yes. And obviously, if you do one-man productions like I do, where you stand on the other side of the tripod, I have an idea for you. If you're in San Francisco, I don't think it's a good idea. Bring along a friend because having a camera on a tripod is just too tempting for thieves to just run up and grab it and take it away. After all, consider what happened to me in Chrissy Field. I was so in the wrong position. You can't beat this location, Chrissy Field, right at the foot of the Golden Gate Bridge. There are so many great shots, but it's way too close to the road. Look right here. A car can pull right up, jump right out, and get your stuff, and then haul away. It's way too easy for them. That's why you want to go inland, as far in as you can go, really, because it'd be a long run for them to steal your stuff that way. I want you to come to Chrissy Field. It's one of the most beautiful parts of the city. I just want you to think about where you're standing with your camera. I have a great footnote. After my theft right there, State Farm Insurance came to the rescue. I was paid in full within two weeks. Thank you, State Farm. So again, don't stop coming to San Francisco. It's the most beautiful city in the United States and always will be. Hopefully these issues will be solved. In the meantime, be extra careful, please, in Chrissy Field, Marin Headlands, Treasure Island, and Twin Peaks. Otherwise, you're going to leave a lot more than just your heart in San Francisco.